Okay, so day one, I'm starting with the gauntlet. I'm doing this because it's massive and could potentially cause some weight and balance issues. So by making the gauntlet first, I can gauge how heavy it is and thus how strong the, the rest of the body needs to be to support it. But before I start any model, I do some drawings. I always do a front view with the character standing straight so I can see the length, width and proportions of each body part from the front. I also think it's a good idea to do a profile view as well for the character, so then you know how much depth each part has for the character, which is super helpful when imagining it as a 3D shape. And at least one of these pictures would be fully inked and colored so I know how I will be coloring my paper model. However, Doomfist required a few extra drawings. I had an entire separate page devoted to just drawing the gauntlet from different angles so I could understand what was going on with this complex design. And then I did this drawing of him, which is just a little bit more exciting than a standard front-on pose. This was also the drawing I chose to do the inking and colouring for as well. I also drew Terry Crews' Doomfist in the corner up here too, just to see what that would have looked like if it happened. All of these drawings are just references for the paper model though. My blueprints, you could say. And I actually already started making the frame for his fingers because I couldn't figure out in my head how they would actually look or work just by drawing them. So I just went ahead and started making them before even finishing all the drawings, which is a pretty common thing for me. And I like the way they turned out so far, which is surprising because normally these ideas take a few failures before I get it right. Time to make the other two. Okay, so I've now made all the finger joints without any hiccups, they all perform their function. And today I hope to finish the inner frame for each of the individual fingers and the thumb, attach them to the hand, start forming the palm and also complete the wrist joint. So let's get going with day two. Keep going. So this is where things so this is where things are starting to get messy. I I don't know what I'm doing. 
and I can't visualize in my head exactly how everything should be connecting together while also still being true to the original design. I just have to make things up as I go along, but I'm not really operating according to a plan here, and the, the fear of mistakes are far more prominent in my mind. I'm scared to... I'm scared of spending hours of building a part only to have it not be the right size or not work the way I want it to with everything else. And, and this, this fear is really slowing me down, so that's becoming a problem. But I've, I've learned that this uncertainty and fear just causes hesitation and procrastination, which usually results in me losing as much time as I would if I made a mistake and had to start over again to begin with. So I'm just gonna keep moving forward as best I can and, and see what I can come up with. Let's go. So it's finally done, and it's, it's funny because I ended up assembling everything together pretty easily, and it was pretty straightforward once I figured out how everything was going to go together. It, it's kind of interesting, because like letting fear stopping you from doing something is usually, it's usually unfounded, and when you do get to the other side, when you, when you, finish, what you, when you finish what you started or you achieve your goal, you almost look back and think, wow, what was I ever scared of to begin with? and it just seems ridiculous. So after seven days, the hand is now done. Well, it does still need a lot, but it's finished enough for now. I managed to attach everything firmly and it does everything I want it to do. So that is enough for part one of the Doomfist project. Next part, I'll be focusing on the upper arm and that video will be up much sooner than this one. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video and uh, talk to me in the comments and let me know what you think. Bye.